What is the difference between abstract class and interface? Answer: An abstract class is a class that cannot be instantiated and can contain both abstract and non-abstract methods. An interface is a collection of abstract methods that a class must implement. What is the difference between method overloading and method overriding? Answer: Method overloading occurs when two or more methods in a class have the same name but different parameters. Method overriding occurs when a subclass provides a specific implementation of a method that is already provided by its parent class. What is the difference between static and non-static variables in Java? Answer: A static variable is a variable that belongs to the class and not the instance of the class. A non-static variable belongs to the instance of the class. What is a final class in Java? Answer: A final class is a class that cannot be extended. What is the purpose of the finally block in Java? Answer: The finally block is used to execute code after a try catch block regardless of whether an exception is thrown or not. What is the difference between checked and unchecked exceptions in Java? Answer: Checked exceptions must be caught or declared by the method or thrown in the method signature. Unchecked exceptions do not need to be caught or declared. What is the purpose of the synchronized keyword in Java? Answer: The synchronized keyword is used to synchronize access to a shared resource by ensuring that only one thread can access it at a time. What is a singleton class in Java? Answer: A singleton class is a class that can only be instantiated once. What is a thread in Java? Answer: A thread is a lightweight process that runs concurrently with other threads in a program. What is a deadlock in Java? Answer: A deadlock occurs when two or more threads are blocked waiting for each other to release resources. What is the difference between a hash map and a hash table? Answer: A hash map is not synchronized, whereas a hash table is synchronized. What is a garbage collector in Java? Answer: A garbage collector is a mechanism in Java that automatically frees memory that is no longer being used by the program. What is the purpose of the transient keyword in Java? Answer: The transient keyword is used to indicate that a variable should not be serialized. What is the difference between a byte stream and a character stream? Answer: A byte stream reads data in bytes, whereas a character stream reads data in characters. What is the purpose of the throws keyword in Java? Answer: The throws keyword is used to declare that a method may throw an exception. What is the difference between a list and a set in Java? Answer: A list is an ordered collection of elements, whereas a set is an unordered collection of unique elements. What is the difference between a stack and a queue in Java? Answer: A stack is a last in first out data structure, whereas a queue is a first in first out data structure. What is a binary tree in Java? Answer: A binary tree is a tree data structure where each node has at most two children. What is a recursive function in Java? Answer: A recursive function is a function that calls itself What is a lambda expression in Java? Answer: A lambda expression is a way to express a function that can be passed around as data. What is a functional interface in Java? Answer: A functional interface is an interface that contains only one abstract method and can be used as the basis for lambda expressions. What is the purpose of the default keyword in Java 8? Answer: The default keyword is used to provide a default implementation for a method in an interface. What is the difference between a predicate and a function in Java? Answer: The predicate takes an input and returns a boolean value, whereas a function takes an input and returns an output. What is a stream in Java? Answer: A stream is a sequence of elements that can be processed in a pipeline. What is the purpose of the flat map operation in a stream? Answer: The flat map operation is used to flatten a stream of streams into a single stream. What is the difference between a parallel stream and a sequential stream in Java? Answer: A parallel stream processes elements in parallel using multiple threads, whereas a sequential stream processes elements in a single thread. What is a completable feature in Java? Answer: A completable feature is a class in Java that represents a task that may complete asynchronously and can be used to chain multiple tasks together.